All right, so before we actually get to functions, um, I'm sorry, you're probably wondering when will we get to them? Well, I want to cover a few more basics of Python. So one of them is quotation marks. Right now, when we create a string and set that equal to a string, I use ASD, ASD, blah, 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 string is created, right? And if I print it out, I get ASD, ASD, ASD. However, you can also use single quotation marks. Um, I know I haven't talked about this, but let's go ahead and try it out. I can say string is equal to single quotation marks, and then in that, anything I want, print that out as string, you get ASD, ASD. And then, let's suppose you put double quotation marks in the beginning, and single quotation marks at the end, it gives you a syntax error. So I just wanted to talk about how um, these quotation marks work in Python. Well, you have to use the exact same quotation mark you're using in the beginning at the end. So if you're starting with a single, you can use a single. If you're starting with a double, you use a double. Now, as we're talking about strings, let's go ahead and cover one more subject with them. And that is that over here, for example, let's say I wanted to create a statement called like this. So, uh, one sec here. It's a nice day today. Or it's a nice day. Okay, a very simple English statement, it's a nice day. However, if we now print out string, it works. It's a nice day. And the reason this has worked is because you're probably wondering, well, we have a single quotation over here. Why didn't it pick an pick up an error. Well, the reason is because the double quotation and the double quotation match. You can put as many single quotation marks you want in the middle, but since it's a string and you've put the double in front and the double in the end, it's okay. However, if we did the same thing, but instead we put a single quotation mark and a string single quotation mark, we get invalid syntax. So this is where the concept of escape characters come in. All right. Um, Let's go ahead and bring this line again. To make sure that Python doesn't consider an apostrophe as a string apostrophe and instead as an English wording apostrophe, what you can do is in front of the apostrophe, put a backslash. And all this backslash does is it says, hey Python, this is part of the statement. Don't count this as an apostrophe to the string statement. Now if we print out string, doesn't give us an error, it's a nice day. Isn't that cool? So this whole concept is called escape characters, putting a backslash in front of the apostrophe so that it's counted as normal English text. Fantastic. So this is it to my uh, basics of strings. I just want to talk about a few things. And before I go, or before I actually end this lecture, one last thing. All right, so let me quickly open up a new ideally, just restarting the screen and stuff. But there's one last thing I want to show you, okay? and. This is the concept of, suppose I'm writing a huge if statement. So I'm going to create two variables. I'm going to call mine blue oranges with cheese. I'm going to set that value equal to A. And I'm going to create another variable. Um, cheese fried dumplings with cherry sauce. Set that value equal to B. So many times in coding, or especially with Python, you'll notice that as you're typing, your screen will take up a lot of the text and it'll go to the next line and stuff. So how do we get rid of that? For example, if I say if blue oranges with cheese is equal to cheese fried, I have no clue what I write. I'm sorry, I have no clue what I wrote. Wait, let me just copy paste. Uh, command C. Command V. All right. So this works, right? There's nothing wrong with it, but it's long and it's confusing and I have no clue what's written. So what I can do is using a backslash or wait, I'm sorry. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yes, it is a backslash. I'm not sure why it wasn't letting me do that, but now it is. So I can say something along the lines of if blue oranges is equal equal to and then on a new line, I can put in the two equals, and then on a new line, I can say cheese, fried, whatever it is, and then put a colon. That would enable me to put all of this on three separate lines. So this is the whole concept of using these multi-line statements, right? Now, these multi-line statements can be used anywhere. For example, if I'm creating, um, like, for example, let me just bring this down over here, actually. 
So, one sec. Let me get the error going over here. Invalid syntax, fantastic. So, I want to... One sec, I'm sorry about that, guys. So, over here, let's go ahead and get this blue oranges with cheese and this fried dumpling sauce. So, I use a backslash and it's getting... Okay, fine, 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 I got you. So, I delete all of this. Use the backslash, use the double equal to signs, use the backslash, and then I say this cheese fried dumpling with cherry sauce, command C, command V. And now what I can do is I can just say print hello else print hiya. So the, all I wanted to show you here is how you can use multi-line statements in Python to your advantage. So if your um, statements are going way off the screen and you don't like that and you want it to be more consolidated, more appealing to the eye, what you can do is you can use these multi-line statements to break up your code into nice, simple pieces like I've done over here. So fantastic, we have talked about um, some different you know, basics of Python, quotations, multi-line statements, and escape characters. Now. In the next lecture, hopefully we'll get to functions. I'm not completely sure what's set for the next lecture, but I'll see you then.